Okay, here we're going to experiment to see if people in a breakout session can actually record their session even when the host is not there. Now right now I'm in the host view and I have three people. At the bottom here I'm going to click manage participants and at Lupe I'll tap more and allow record. Now the other ones don't have an allow record and that's probably because these other ones join using just the software just the web they click start in browser using chrome but lupe here join using the software on a windows pc so now as the host i'm going to click on breakout room and i'm going to send all three people into the breakout room so assign three people to one room automatically i'll create room and so all three people, including Lupe, who has the power to record, will be going into breakout room one. And I'll open all rooms. And I'll close this window. Now, as you can see, as the host, I can't see anybody because they're in the breakout rooms without me. So I'm going to go to Lupe's computer. So here is Lupe, and she's in the room with the other two people. And so Lupe should be able to click record. So as you can see, we're now recording. So while we're recording, let's see if uh, Comp 1 can do anything while they're in the browser. I'm going to go to Comp 1. Okay, so here is Comp 1. As you can see, they don't have a record option. They're working from the browser. But they do have a share option, or let's see if they do. They can share their screen but they can't share a whiteboard it looks like so let's go ahead and let let comp one share their screen okay so comp one is now sharing their entire screen so they could open up something like a google whiteboard or something if they wanted to draw or let's say they wanted to demonstrate excel or something like that so all of this should be uh, being recorded by lupe okay so as comp one i'm going to stop sharing and let's go back to lupe and since Lupe is using software, she should be able to share a whiteboard as well. Here we go. And so now everybody should be seeing the whiteboard. Okay, so that's Lupe drawing on the whiteboard. Let's see if we can go to another computer and see what they're seeing. Yep, here's Comp 1 again, and they can see Lupe drawing on the board. But Comp 1 doesn't have the ability from the software. Okay, let's go back to Lupe and stop share. And stop recording. The recorder file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. And so the host will have to end the meeting. And it looks like when you do record while you're in a breakout session, the only option you have is to record to the computer. You can't record to the cloud from a breakout session. Go back as the host. I'm going to click breakout room. And I'm going to close all rooms. Now everybody's back in the main room. And I'm going to end meeting. And end meeting for all. And this is me as the host. So now if I go back to the Lupe computer. The meeting has been ended by host. And note what happens. Convert meeting recording. The person who recorded will have the recording go to their computer. Okay, the MP4 file has downloaded. And I get to choose where it downloads to. And note that I did hit record two times. Zoom 0 was the first one I did. And Zoom 1 was the one I did for just a couple of seconds. Let's go ahead and open this one. And here's the part where uh, Computer 137 is sharing his screen. And you can see where Computer 137 went to the Excel program. And you can see Computer 137 stopping screen share. And now you could see Lupe's uh, whiteboard. And so, of course, when you have a breakout session, whoever has the video downloading on their computer, if they want, they could then send that as a link or as a file to the others once they're back in the main session. Or they could share their screen and then show the video.